What is AETP in chromatography? Have you ever wondered how chemists measure the efficiency of their chromatography columns? The answer lies in a concept called the height equivalent to a theoretical plate, or AT. Imagine a chromatography column as a long, narrow tube where chemicals separate based on their interactions with the column's materials. HETP is essentially the length of the column that is needed to achieve one theoretical plate. A theoretical plate is a measure of how well the column can separate different chemicals, with more plates indicating better separation. To calculate HETP, you use the formula HETP equals a n, where L is the length of the column and n is the number of theoretical plates. The lower the HETP value, the better the column is at separating chemicals, because it means each unit of length is more efficient at achieving that separation. HETP is also a measure of the rate of band broadening. As chemicals move through the column, their peaks or bands can spread out, making them less distinct. A smaller HETP indicates slower band broadening, resulting in sharper, more defined peaks. There are several factors that affect HETP, such as the particle size of the column material, the column temperature, and the flow rate of the mobile phase. For example, smaller particles and higher temperatures can reduce HETP, while higher flow rates can increase it. In practical terms, monitoring HEP is crucial for maintaining column integrity. Changes in HEP values can signal issues with the column, such as degradation or blockages, which can be detected through methods like moment analysis and direct transition analysis. So HETP is not just a technical term, it's a key metric that helps chemists optimize their chromatography processes and ensure they get the best possible results from their experiments.